Okay, we, this is my friend Joe. Hi. Um, we are at the Beach Club. We're gonna do Cape May Cafe, which we I ate here together last time, what, in 2019? 2019, yeah. It's been a long time, you've been trapped in the UK, so. Yeah, <laughs> only been just been allowed out. So, so she's here. Um, we're excited, Chef TJ's here tonight. We are gonna roll out of here, obviously, so. Let's go eat some dinner. <laughs> soup there's like a tofu rice dish that actually looks really good um, a pasta and then what was the other thing which is vegetables seasonal vegetables um, and then the kids thing had um, broccoli and then the, the bow tie pasta I guess is what it is pasta. right um, which is what he is enjoying currently so we might try the uh, tofu but we know that um, chef TJ is probably gonna bring us out more than enough food so we're ready <laughs> the tofu and the pasta um, we are about to dig in but then TJ brought us this so I'm gonna try this first and then we can talk about that it looks like what he used to do with like his whole like thing so that's good so you ate one you took it super crunchy it's really good it's like sweet and everything okay Tastes like rice. The pasta looks really good. It's full of vegetables. There's like zucchini, yellow squash, mushrooms. So I'll get a mushroom since Joe hates them. Yeah. I'll eat the mushrooms. I'll eat the carrots. Mommy, I'm gonna get more of this one done. Okay. I'm gonna go with Gary's. Okay. It's good. I, I can't tell if it's like um like pesto-y. I think it's got some basil and stuff in it. It's pretty good. It's light. So not bad. Um, and then we got garlic focaccia bread and then I think he said it was like a roasted garlic hummus artichoke something and then black beans so I guess am I supposed to eat the bread with the hummus on it? I just want to eat the bread as bread it's awful you don't want any it's so good very good some of the hummus on there. Go ahead. Super creamy. It has like a good tang to it too. So that's a good, it's a good hummus. Try this guy. Looks like this also has pesto on it. So it probably does have pesto on the pasta. I'm gonna work on that part if you want. Is it just artichoke? Yeah. No. Whatever. Count it. And some beans. When you eat a Chef TJ meal, you have to like pace yourself. Look at me. Because it's a lot of food, so. It's good. Why not? Oh! Look at that. Interesting. It's cold. I don't know why I was expecting it to not be cold. No, the artichoke. It's good. I mean, it's just artichokes and pesto, basically, but cold beans, too. I got the Griffin one. I need that bowl. It's very good. It has like a good like tang to it. Good start. All 
right, we got our second course. I'll pick it up so you can see. It's basically like um, like an elote corn without the cheese. It has this like lemon drizzle on it and like a miso thing. It looks super cooked. Um, I guess I'll just finger food it. It has a good like heat to it. Um, but it's like a flavorful heat. It's not like one of those where you're like, wow, that's super spicy. It's not spicy at all. So I guess heat's not really the right word, but super flavorful. Um, definitely beats the, uh, the flower and garden corn. Super good. So we got this like samosa type thing that's in a curry um, soup, I assume. Uh, TJ said it's like a mushroom and sausage situation. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm gonna try the curry first so that way I can get like a real flavor. Maybe, possibly. Very strong curry. Very good. Um, definitely has heat to it though. So if you're uh, afraid of heat, hopefully it's not super into this, but I will eat all of that. Let's try this guy. So here's, it's probably gonna dribble. That. It's super light. It's like um, kind of more like a what is it? What is it like a phyllo pastry? Yeah, phyllo pastry. Yeah, light, like layers. Um, for you, I was a little worried that it was gonna be super mushroomy, but I mean that's literally just like a, a more of like a pate looking situation. <laughs> um, but it's good. It's super good. This is a chef TJ for sure. Super good. Okay, we got the main entree here. Um, we got Mongolian meatballs, spicy potatoes, and then crispy broccoli. So I'm gonna go for the potatoes first because I love spicy food. We got potatoes. It's kind of like um like a mashed potato, but more like a smashed potato. It's sweet. It's not spicy. <laughs> and I'll try the broccoli. Seems like it was probably air fried. This is what my broccoli looks like whenever I just toss it in the air fryer with nothing. It also has that consistency, aka it just completely falls apart the second you start chewing it. So it's good though. And the little meatballs. So this is probably where that sweet sauce comes from. So. It's definitely just like an um, like a Beyond burger or Beyond beef or something, like formed into little balls. But this is actually really good though. Classic Chef TJ. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got it all off. Thank you for that. How'd you say that? Fine. Look, you're still coming off the side of mine. I know. You're still coming off the side. Ha! <laughs> You like <laughs> All right, got a classic Chef TJ Tower covered in chocolate syrup. 
Um, the vegan dessert here is a tiramisu, so he put those in this. So we will give this a try. <laughs> Look at mine. That is decadent. It's so good. So good. Um, he said all the ice cream right now that they have here is coconut based. Um, they can't get soy right now, so we got coconut ice cream. Got a bunch of fruit in there. Solid end to an incredible meal. Yeah. So good. Finished a delightful dinner. Um, mostly delightful because Chef TJ is just a straight up gem. Um, currently he is off on Sundays and Mondays. He works dinners. If you would like that treatment, you basically just have to go in, let them know that you're vegan, and then you have to request him. Um, he is an allergy chef. There is vegan stuff on the buffet, obviously, as I showed. Um, but if you want some of the extras, you just gotta ask him. Food was great. We have eaten so much. Um, I always try and like pace myself, but it doesn't really work. Um, I always end up leaving absolutely stuffed which is a fantastic thing. So once again, thank you, Chef TJ, for a delicious meal. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's vegano. <laughs> I got you. What, 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 what did you say? I, I said, well, so I'm going to say something. So if it's wet, that means I got you. Hi. <laughs>